Several 21st Theater Sustainment Command units held ceremonies, soldier spotlights, and celebrations for Hispanic Heritage Month from September 15th through October 15th to honor the contributions of soldiers with ancestry from Spain, Mexico, the Caribbean, and Central and South America. There are over 139,000 Hispanic Americans serving in the total force right now. The 21st TSC chaplains received 16 pallets of coffee from the nonprofit organization Holy Joe's to distribute throughout Germany and Poland to support soldiers and spiritual readiness. October is Cyber Awareness Month, and the G6 Cybersecurity Branch from 21st TSC led Millrinder training, discussions, and briefs to keep t Team 21 informed about their risks of cyber attackers and ways to prevent threats. 21st TSC Host Nation Support met with Marine Corps Forces Europe and Africa, Norwegian Armed Forces and representatives from Norway's government and civilian sectors to tour rail facilities near Rig Air Base in the port of Borg Fredrikstad, Norway, during a tabletop workshop to enhance host station support and interoperability between U.S. and Norway. 702nd and 720th Explosive Ordnance Disposal Company, 15th Engineer Battalion, 18th Military Police Brigade participated in a multinational EOD exercise in Keflavik, Iceland, to perform land and maritime tasks and learn the newest trends and procedures amongst NATO allies. 101st Division Sustainment Brigade equipment was greeted at the port of Koper, Slovenia by 386 Transportation Detachment, 39th Transportation Battalion, and 598th SDDC. About 800 pieces of equipment were downloaded from the vessel and prepared for reception, staging, and onward movement on commercial rail and trucks. A team from 16th Special Troops Battalion competed in the Bundeswehr Black Eagle International Military Competition in northern Germany. In only 48 hours, teams endured a 40-mile ruck while performing soldier tasks followed by a 5-mile obstacle course. 5th Quartermaster Theater Aerial Delivery Company, 16th STB, conducted Joint Force Heavy Low Drops in Belgium with U.S. Air Force. Operations like this are essential for logistical supplies to arrive fast and safe. 1st Inland Cargo Transfer Company, 39th Transportation Battalion, assembled and tested new Army transportation equipment known as the Ban Air Modular Universal Deployable Response Rail Ramp. It is a deployable system to streamline onloading and offloading vehicles and equipment from railway and trucks. Thanks for watching Team 21 Highlights. First in support, stronger together.